noise, energy. Sarah, in this final moment, knowing that there's chaos outside, the halls are crumbling, energy is being released. Do you attempt to keep your promise to try and make your way out, or do you accept what is to come? I'll move to the door and look. My children deserve that. This will be our final role of this campaign. Oh, you have bardic inspiration. I do. A D10? A D10. Um, with, and, and mechanically that's getting advantage, correct? I do. Um, you have a die of bardic inspiration. You have advantage. This is the calamity. DC, we are setting, is 30. You're gonna roll this with advantage. And you have a die of inspiration. Let's roll the inspiration first. Ins uh, inspiration first. See what you're adding. Come on. That's cocked. Eight. Okay. You're rolling. Uh, you're rolling with advantage, and if you fail, you get a D4. What a am DC. I? What am I rolling? Investigation, which oh, is plus. Now, pl with that inspiration, plus twenty-one. It's a plus what? Plus 21. That's a 31. Oh! Oh! That's a 10. Oh! No way. <laughs> Laren and Loquacious embrace. Your movement is the only thing that saves you, that you can move 150 feet around. Underneath you, eruption of ash and fire, molten stone sends a cloud of ash and shadow that will cover Exandria for a hundred years, marking the beginning of this age of ruin. Fire embraces Patia and Nidus, different fire awaits the first night. And the fire, as brightly as it may burn, does not burn so brightly as your love, which shines the brightest in your last moment, having given this world a chance. Ash, heat, rising faster than you can imagine from the earth. And on a 31, at the very top of that cloud, the last member of the brass ring gets to keep his promise to his family. You fly for weeks over oceans choked by ash and soot. You don't get to give your kids the world that they deserve, but you get to give them the world that they can fight for with you. In that reunion is a memory of this place and time preserved. I don't know that I can promise the future of Sarah, his wife and their children, nor the future of those children aboard the ships of the Golden Scythe, nor Evandrin and Elias out amongst the stars.
we've told a story of the coming of a time of darkness. The coming of calamity, of shadow and fire and ruin. Why do we tell stories? To try to make sense of a world that can be terrifying and enormous. In Exandria, I don't know that your story will long be known. I don't know who will remain to tell it, but it did happen and it did matter. And though calamity is here because of you, it will not be here forever.